tank famine begins in Russian army, occupants lose nearly 100 tanks a month in Ukraine. The Russian force in Ukraine loses nearly 100 tanks a month, according to analysts who scrutinize social media to identify destroyed vehicles. At the same time, Russian industry builds no more than 50 new tanks a month. In the Russian Federation, about 2,500 tanks have been removed from storage. The pace of work fell from 115 vehicles to 60 per month. This is reported by OSINT analyst Heimarscht, who, together with a colleague, analyzed satellite images of Russian storage bases. As of mid-2024, Russia had removed 2,500 tanks from open areas. However, the pace began to slow down significantly. Over the past year, the enemy began to restore about 60 tanks per month instead of 115. The figure of 115 tanks is explained by the fact that a fairly large number of vehicles were in good condition, which made it possible to quickly recover losses. Consequently, it is likely that the Russian Federation could return to service even more than 115 tanks per month. This could be enough to cover all the losses. However, in 2024, the trend began to change. Now the occupiers are restoring about 60 tanks a month, which is not enough to restore losses. According to war spotting, the occupying forces are now losing at least 93 tanks per month. The reason for the slowdown is due to the worst technical condition. Many of the tanks have been outdoors for more than 15 years and require more work. The researcher notes that it is almost impossible to establish the technical condition of the tanks from satellite images, but he is sure that a significant amount of equipment will never be wound up. The only option in this case would be a major overhaul. The machine body does not have to be in good condition to be repaired. With enough money, time and spare parts, it is probably possible to repair any tank, but over time this process will only become more expensive. In addition, Russia has so far focused on creating repair stroke modernizing capacities for only some types of tanks, in particular T-80, T-72B and T-62 notes Heimarscht. At the same time, he adds that it is unlikely that there will be a moment when the Russian Federation will run out of tanks, but certainly the tank fleet will be gradually reduced. This will have a direct impact on offensive capabilities. To make up the gap as best as they can, the Russians drag old Cold War tanks out of long-term storage, refurbish them, upgrade them in some cases, and then ship them off to the front alongside the newly built tanks. The recovered tanks, including T-55s from the 1950s, T-62s from the 1960s and a variety of T-72 and T-80s from more recent decades. Weirdly, they mostly don't include the very oldest T-72s, the original T-72 Ural and T-72A models from the early 1970s, the ones with thinner armor and cruder fire controls. Что там? Я вот она уже горелся. Видно, 